You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to go a little longer format because it's important information that we want to get out uh, brought to you by your friends over at the Old Colony Planning Council. And I have a newer face to Brockton Community Access. I have Paul Chenard. Right, right. Okay, I got it right. Mm -hmm. And Paul, what's your title over at OCPC? So I'm a Senior Transportation Planner with the Old Colony Planning Council. Senior Transportation Planner. Correct. Okay. You're younger than me. I'm the senior citizen, yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm not a planner. Planning is an art, okay, and, and, it's and a science. It's one part science, yes, I would yeah. say so. Yeah, and uh, good planning makes for good communities. Absolutely. And from everything I know, all of my experience, my whole entire life, I've lived in Brockton. Mm -hmm. Old Colony Planning Council is a wonderful planning agency. Right. Um, helping all the communities in the greater Brockton area. Correct. Brockton, you're physically located right. in Brockton, yep. and uh, right in the old Thomas Edison building, the mm -hmm. Chamber of Commerce building, yes, so right a downtown. Historical building. So you guys are reaching out to the community, uh, to, you're working on a long-range transportation plan. That is correct. Right? Right. LRT. LRTP for short. Yeah. LRTP, okay. And you actually want to know what the community thinks. Absolutely. Correct. We want to know what their um, transportation needs and desires are so they can help us craft that plan. Because currently right now we're kind of in the fact phase, uh, fact finding phase of the, of the plan. So we're trying to understand what people are um, experiencing in the way of uh, issues of the transportation system. So that way we can take those kernels of information and help us craft the plan. So if they're experiencing uh, misconnections between um, transit systems or something like that, or there's gaps to be um, to be experienced in their their way to work or their way for social activities. We want to understand that so they can help us plan for the future. So Brockton, I consider us relatively lucky. Mm -hmm. We have uh, MBTA, yes. commuter rail. That's correct. We have Brockton area transit, mm -hmm. buses, and all you know, um, yep. all sorts of services. Yep. We have the MBTA that is like on the edge of. Brockton, right, right, right at the Brockton Holbrook yep. line. If that I'm is not mistaken. It actually comes all the way down to the um, the Montello um, oh, train does. station. They okay. have one line that operates oh. there. See, I learned yeah. something new, um, because not everybody has a car. That's not correct. every right. and, and and you know what? We can reduce our carbon footprint if mm -hmm. not everybody drives right. a car. Right. Cars are expensive, and if they're sitting in a parking lot all day, right. they're not really doing any good. Doing too much. Try to get to Boston in a car, oh, that's, that has yesterday. nothing to do. There's a lot of transportation planning yeah. that has to happen for that. Um, and then, of course, we have weather, we have winter. Mm -hmm. uh, thank God we're here. We don't have hurric too many hurricanes and too many tornadoes, and we don't have forest fires. That's I feel correct. really bad for the people out in California right. that are dealing with that right now. But... Um, you know, getting to work on time is important, and mm -hmm. getting even you know you buy tickets to a, a game, go right. into Boston. You don't want to take a car. Mm -hmm. You want to you know uh, commute in. Got to be the right thing. And then of course traffic patterns, traffic flow. So you don't just have one survey. You have a survey for anybody that speaks English. Right. But in Brockton, we have Haitian Creole, Cape Verdean Creole. Right. But those people also speak French, Portuguese. Right. Correct. Spanish. Right. Um, I wish I knew more than one language. I'm, I, that's my big regret in life. My yeah. dad was born in Cuba. My mom was born in Boston, and yeah. they didn't talk. They didn't talk Spanish, so I never learned it. My brother's in Miami, and he speaks two languages. Oh, he, he's been there for forty years, so he has one up on me. But what type of things are you looking for in the survey? What types of questions? Well, would people. The questions are already uh, posed to the uh, the survey taker, so they just simply answer them um, in which they feel. Um, best identifies their transportation need or, or, or issue. And that gives us um, these focal points to start looking at when we start to try to understand what the, the larger transportation issues are and what goals we should set on meeting those. Because with the long-range transportation plan, it's a 20-year um, mm -hmm. document. So what I mean by that is it's looking out 20 years in, in the planning of um, transportation infrastructure through the funding, um, through its funding source. So this um, actually sets uh, spending priorities for the um, for the transportation system, and it's that guide for it. Uh, it's updated every four years, mm -hmm. so it could stay relevant because you know commute patterns change, issues come up in the transportation network, and so as federally stated, we update it every four years so we can have a good um, focal point on those issues and understand them better. Now, right now, people are driving cars. Yes. But if you look down the road, there right. are places where there are 
driverless cars. That's correct. So that would yeah. be, I, you know, it's funny, when I was down in Miami, I went to mm -hmm. school my last two years down there, everything's a great. Everything's right. Everything's like, yes. it's planned development. Right. Up here, I'm not quite sure what the plan was back in the day, yeah, but yeah, we yeah. got one-way streets. Right. We got, you know, cul-de-sacs and mm -hmm. rotaries and mm -hmm. um, what do you call those things, roundabouts right. now. Mm -hmm. um, and you guys help with, like, I mean, there, there's intersections that right. need to be factored into a plan. Like exactly. we, we know that um, if it's a state highway, the state's involved. Right. If it's a city, then it's the, the, the city, city or the mm -hmm. municipality. And they need good data and good numbers correct. in order to fund these things, right. correct? That is, that is correct. Um, everything's based on data um, and regional needs and local needs as well. But um, what this helps us does is it helps us focus on those needs. You know, for example, if, if people are starting to use Uber and Lyft more to get around, which we see that they are, and we find that in the data, that's something we can start to focus on and start planning for in the future. Um, if, there, if people are finding, you know, as I was saying earlier again, there's gaps in the public transportation system, this survey and this report help us focus on that and set priorities in, in meeting those goals to fill those gaps and to assist in um, the transportation network. Now, one thing I hear all the time, I think we happen to have a very good regional transit authority here mm -hmm. with Rockland Area Transit. I teach at Massasoit Community College part-time, mm -hmm. and my students need to get to class on time. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, I get sometimes, you know, I think they should wake up a little earlier and take an earlier bus so right. they can get to class on time, yes. especially my 8 o'clock class. But sometimes the schedules don't quite mesh. Right. So would there be an opportunity for a, 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 a college, this is for anybody, yeah, a uh, college student in, in one of the questions someplace to let you guys know yes. that? Absolutely. Um, the, the report won't focus on the, mac, the micro, right. like scheduling and, and, and focusing on the, um, the public transportation and the pinpoint, but this gives us more of the macro issues, like maybe that um, there needs to be more service to um, the colleges or to, higher, uh, or to institutions of higher learning and things like that, or there needs to be more options so people can arrive to their destinations on time. Like I know uh, Brockton Area Transit, um, yep. when um, one of the hospitals was in Stoughton, mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. it was Good Samaritan, and then they moved into Brockton proper, there was service to Stoughton. There was yes. service to Stonehill, yep. which is an a, a, And they a, both still have service today. And then yep. um, Bridgewater State? Is yep. there, how, do, how, how does someone get from, if um, they're a student here, how do they get there? There's a couple of different options. They can take commuter rail. Right. They also can take, um, a BSU or Bridgewater State University bus, I believe it's um, the number 28, mm. which comes up all the way from Bridgewater State to the Bat Center and they can catch that bus and actually get to the university. Wow. So the Brockton Area Transit does a pretty good job in trying to get the student body to I, the schools of higher I learning. I know that that commuter rail, um, for some people, it's limiting because there aren't as many commuter rail trains right. as there are, like if they were doing Red Line out of Braintree mm -hmm, or Quincy, mm -hmm. they, it, it's more frequent. Yes. Okay, you get yes. certain times, you get peak times, um, and, uh, you know, I know they're working on a lot of issues with the MBTA. You right. get a, a, a subcontractor that yep. runs it, Keolis, is correct, yes. responsible for it. And, you know, I read my, I, I read uh, different people's impressions of what they think of that, mm -hmm, okay? Mm -hmm. um, but part of the plan down here would connect to the greater Boston plan. Um, it's true. What, what they do is they're... Um we look at the issues of connectivity mm -hmm. in the region and then outside the region. So we're not just looking at how does one get around uh, Brockton or the greater Brockton area, but how we can facilitate um, transportation and connections to Boston and then to the South Shore as well, or the South Coast, I'm sorry. So like in the Taunton area and stuff right. like that. And I know they're still considering different rail options to get people down to the south coast right you know, there's, there's that that's there's still the Stoughton line <clears throat> and mm -hmm. the Middleborough line and all of that coast rail, right and um, I was just so happy because we we had lost commuter rail from 1959 to I forget what year it came back mm -hmm. and I, I think it's revolutionized you know the ability of people's you know to get into Boston I'll be honest with you I couldn't be a commuter in a car I would mm -hmm. probably be a road rage person because it's frustrating but it if is. you get on a train Get your coffee, kind of read yep. your paper. People make friends on the train. Yes. Okay. And, you know, then you also dealing with, like, the transit-oriented development, like mm -hmm. right in the downtown Brockton area, right. for example. If, if you're, a, a, I guess, young or old, whatever, 
there's, there's housing. Mm -hmm. And then you get on a train, you go to Boston. Right. Hey, I worked in Foxborough for years. There was no really easy way to get there. No. I had to go, I had to drive. There right. was no other way to, to do it. And um, it's one person in one car. Right. Okay. Um, uh, transportation is also possibly, is, is carpooling part of that too? I mean, carpooling is definitely a part of that. Um, what this, this study looks at is, is trying to look at a holistic view of transportation needs, not necessarily to describe a transportation mode yeah. or a way we want people to move, but to try um, to understand the, um, the wide menu of what people are trying to do. You know, are they, are they looking for more uh, transportation during social trips? Um, that's just, you know, just to focus on transportation itself as in, as in mode. Right. But there's also other things too, like for example, you know, maybe we need to have a wired 24 to facilitate easing of traffic. Yeah. Maybe we need more commuter rail service. Maybe we need better, um, a better paving schedule. It's, it's really blanketing the whole transportation system, whether it be the, the actual vehicle which you're traveling in and what you need from that, or the infrastructure to support that. So either rails, roads, bike lanes, sidewalks. So it really covers the whole gamut of um, the transportation network. The survey, you use SurveyMonkey. Yes. And you literally have one in French, in Spanish, in Portuguese. Yes. And we'll put that up on the I screen so that. people yeah. can, can see that. So um, I, I would think you it's a very interesting job that you do to it's pull great. all this data I like to together. tell people it's like SimCity, real life, you know? Mm. So that's a good, it's, that's it's, a good description. Yeah. So. Um, Give, give us the general info for OCPC, like the, the, the main phone number over there sure. in, in your, your website, because yes, I'm sure yes. you have on the website So the our website is www.ocpcrpa.org. Um, you can find a link to the Long Range Transportation Plan there, as well as the survey links to participate. You can also reach us by phone, which is 508-583-1833, and we're there from um, as early as about 8.30 in the morning to 4 p.m., Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. So give us a call or stop on by. We're, we're, we're there Monday through Friday. You like visitors, Oh, right? I do. I do. You and Pat and yes, Jimmy yes. Pereira who hey, helped us facilitate we're this. We're a friendly bunch. Okay. Well, we appreciate um, mm -hmm. you giving us the information. Thank we're going to get the word out. And there isn't a time limit on this, by the no, way. No, there's no real time limit. But, you know, we encourage people to participate as soon as possible when, they, when it's convenient for them. And tell their friends. Yes, So you please, can get your the friends. widest possible survey Absolutely. and you can get the results yes. that'll help everybody. Even if, even if your friend doesn't live in the area but commutes into the area, please share that link with them. Well, thank you very much. Thank it's you. It's a pleasure. Thanks pleasure. for joining us on thank Greater you. Brockton. Uh, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.